Here's a homework problem. They're asking us to uh, look at a frequency table and produce a cumulative frequency table. They're not asking us to actually do the entire job. They're just asking us to find the amount that would be in the, the uh, class that has a lower class limit of 31. So that means that they want us to find this number right here in the cumulative frequency table. So we just need to accumulate this sum. 8 plus 9 plus 7 plus 10 plus 2 is the answer that they're looking for right here. But let's do more than that. Let's use R to produce the, in the cumulative frequency table. I'll use R as my compiler. I'd like to have a vector, a categorical variable vector, containing these ages. So there it is produced here. Next, I'd like to have a vector for these, for the number of students in each one of those uh, classes. And so there's that vector being produced. With those two vectors, we can produce a data frame. If we take that information, run it, produces that um, result, and it's easy to verify that this table that we produced with the data frame and those two vectors accurately reproduces this table that we started with. That's the frequency table. R has a convenient function called cumulative sum. If we take the cumulative sum of the number of students, then it cumulatively sums these on that script, printing out the result of that cumulative sum. You'll notice that it starts out with 8, then 8 plus 9 is 17, 8 plus 9 plus 7 is 24, and so on. So let's build a data frame containing ages and the cumulative sum. Let's run that script and see the results. So there's our frequency table up here, and there's our cumulative sum table down here. The cumulative frequency would be 8, 8 plus 9 is 17, 8 plus 9 plus 7 is 24, and so on. The number that they were looking for in the homework problem was that 36. They were only asking for that one number. But we've used R to produce the entire cumulative frequency table.